Hello boys and girls, we start our lesson. The theme of the lesson is describing a local dish. Lesson 8, page 95. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to improve your writing skills. Before writing, look at the photo and read the description on an internet forum. What is a dish Larmona describes and what is it made from? Answer the questions. Now, exercise 4. Complete the sentences with the phrases in the box. Baking, filled with, consists of, made in, contain, served with. Let's get writing. Exercise 5. Choose a local or traditional dish to write about. Use the list in exercise 2 and make notes. Then, exercise 6. Write your description for the internet forum. Use your notes from exercise 5 and the model text to help you. Now, Watch the video how to describe your local or traditional Lesson. dish. So in this video, I want to share some ways to describe food, especially the taste of food. So you might know delicious. Oh, this is delicious. So good. Um, you might know good. This is good, right? I find oftentimes that um, English learners will say this food is delicious and that's that's cool, that's a good way to describe food, but it's not common, it's not um, as natural or commonplace as, say, um, the last three. So good, mmm, this is so good. That's a really common way to describe a nice taste of some food that you're enjoying. Um, we do say delicious, but it's just a little bit more formal, right? Good is more commonly used. It's not as descriptive though, right? But people do tend to use more common words more often, of course. Next, hits the spot. Mmm, this hits the spot. This is a kind of idiomatic way to describe that your food is delish or delicious. It's another thing. We can say delish. Mm -mm -mm. Hits the spot. So wow, that macaroni and cheese hits the spot. Means I'm really enjoying that macaroni and cheese. And last, yummy. Yummy is really casual. Um, not so much for professional or formal situations. More for like family and friends. Oh, this macaroni and cheese is so yummy. Yum, yum, yum. So <laughs> use this um, with your family and friends and it's just a fun way to describe a good taste. So these are four ways to describe food and we talked a little bit about the situation. This is making me hungry and obviously I want to eat macaroni and cheese today. That's what's on my mind. Very popular American food. Have you all tried macaroni and cheese? What do you think? Is it delish? I love it. Well, let me know what you